Hi guys, and welcome back to Better Half, and today I'll be trying to get all the other endings. I think there's three more to get, so here we go. Okay, so in this route, I want to try to get an ending where I'm just like mean to myself, so tell yourself to shut up. Oh, shut the hell up. Wow, excuse me. And by me, I mean you. Christ, it's been like less than five minutes and I've already had it with you. Well, I've had it with myself for years ago, so tell me something I don't know. Ugh. Let's kill him. I might be better off without my other half. That's what I've been trying to tell you. But he was like, has like half of my life force or something, right? Correct. So if I kill him, I can't get it back, can I? No, you cannot. But you're not getting it back by having him around either. Well, yeah, but I can get it if we merge back someday, right? I suppose you get what's left of it, yes. But you also get all your depression back, all your depression. Actually, about that, I thought you gave me the, uh, the, the other me all my unhappiness, but you didn't, right? No, I did. It's fuck ourselves. You know, living is fully optional, right? You don't want to be here. Fine, don't. Every single person who ever lived on this earth is either dead or going to die. Fast forward your life, who cares? Are you still seriously telling me to off myself right now? Makes you mad, doesn't it? Why is that? You don't get it at all. And that's the worst thing you could have said to me. I'm not gonna reward this kind of behavior with hugs and kisses, but that's what you're looking for. I was looking to die, actually. Hmm, is this it then? I don't know. Yeah, you do. Yes or no, pick one. I don't know. No, don't give me that. Do you want to die right now or not? You know, I'm fully willing to assist you if- I said I don't know. I don't know, you self-important bastard. You think you're so smart? Oh, wow. Arrogant little shit coming here telling me what to do. So easy for you to say. You got the good end of the stick. Of course, I don't want to die. Hey, of course I don't. But that doesn't mean I want to live either. So I don't know. You tell me. Me? Yeah, you. What do you want to do? Well, I want to clean up that shirt. Sleeves all bloody. Will you let me fix it? I don't think you can. It's all dried up already. You won't even let me try? Fine. Alright, come on then. There's body wash in the bathroom. Happier if you pull Satter V's hand under the faucet and releases cold water upon the bloody sleeve. Ah, no, 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 wait, stop. Let me take it off. Let me take it off. No knee is just a sleeve. Ah, it stings. Let go, oh God, it hurts. I said I clean it. I didn't say I'd be pleasant. There's no need to do it this way. What's wrong with you? Actually, I'm really nauseous. Huh? And then he starts peeking in the toilet. Let's go with something healthy. Yeah, I'll get something healthy. And other me too, other me too will get some energy too. I don't know, do something. If you just work with me, I'm sure we can improve our life. Ugh. And so Theo goes to do some shopping. But how's our little bundle of sorrels doing? So my guess, he has spent the entire day with the video game. Don't try as he might, he can't clear the secret boss. And he must clear it, otherwise he can't 100% the game. And that would mean his whole life has been there for nothing. And now he's mad because he can't beat the game. <laughs> Honestly, he's me because... Why I get frustrated when I can't beat a boss in the game is... Kinda crazy. There you are, I bought food. The washing machine makes an unholy amount of noise as it spins. Oh, you're doing laundry. Uh, yeah, I guess. Theo is proud to present himself a takeout box filled with grilled fish and some salad. What is this, Phil? A healthy meal full of nutrients. I'm not hungry. Yes, you are. I went out of my way to buy this for you. Why, to bully me? He you know, all done well, I can't stand fish or vegetables. I'm taking care of myself. Isn't that precisely what you want? But can't you be more like... 
Aw, you poor thing. Take it easy. Here's candy and games and my unconditional love and support. Sure, if you were an infant. Oh, come on. I'll bake you a pizza if you give the fish and salad a try. Gradually, Theo takes the meal. I can't even bake. <sighs> Whatever, the internet will tell me how. Let's see you. What do I need for it anyway? Theo rummages through the kitchen cabinet. How old is this flower? Oh, there's bugs in it? Other Theo munches on some fish and watches his other self Google pizza dough instructions. Wait, I need a bowl? I think a pot will do instead. And a dough scraper. The heck is that? I mean, we have a spatula. Look at this moron. What are you even doing? Naturally, you know what? I should leave this baking stuff to the professionals. I'm just gonna order. No, make it. Huh? Really? There's like worms in the flour. I'm already eating fish. Might as well eat worms too. How's how's the fish, by the way? It's okay, I guess. Huh? Good. It's good for you. Yeah, you're eating the rest. Nah, that's okay. I really think I'm going to order that pizza. No, you're eating the damn fish. No, no, I'm okay. You can throw the rest away. You eat what you're given. Oh god, I'm getting flashbacks. That's right, you'll either, you'll either eat it or you'll cry and eat it. No, don't whip my ass, dad. Ha ha ha, traumatic memories, laugh at. Eat the fish shell, kill your parakeet. Don't bring that one up. That one still hurts. The heck? Really? I thought you wouldn't feel it. Since I got all the bad stuff. That one is more like, hmm. I remember it and the pain reignites? Like, man, how could you do that? I bought it and I'll kill it if I want to. Nah, give me the fish, I'll eat it. I finished it already. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. I'm still expecting that homemade pizza. Okay, but I'm not using the flour we have. Wanna drop by those at the store together? I guess, and we could buy more fish. Don't some people put tuna on the fish? Gross, we're not doing that. That is actually very disgusting. Pizza is made that night and it sucks. These are proud of it anyway. Good for them. Let's stay. No, I'm in the middle of something. This won't even take that long. Just count those trinkets or something. Okay. I have Theo goes to count glass charms and cry. Oh, is he okay? No, where were we? He said it's magic that's making you sick. Are you cursed or something? Huh, maybe. Because of reasons, I drink my magic potion and have been feeling kind of ill ever since. The potion was it? Well, it was supposed to be a cure for aging, but God knows what it actually was. Uh, what? What is it? You're so lucky to be alive. Huh? Why on earth would you do that? Didn't you learn your lesson last time? I'm sorry, what? I told you. I told you the first time you were here to not get involved with Lua. Huh? How'd you know it was him? How daft are you? Hey, I owed him a favor, okay? Was it to you anyway? You're right. I'm sorry. It's none of my business. Well, well, it doesn't really matter. I guess I'll just wait it out. I'm not really as sick as yesterday or anything. And the next time, I'll just puke faster. Next time? Uh, because it's a work in progress? I have no words. You're beyond help. Okay then, then that was probably everything. You know, this is a pretty bad track record for you. Excuse me? I've been here twice and both times I got disappointed. I can't help someone who refuses to listen to my advice. Yeah, yeah, at least Lua gets shit done. Sure, making things worse counts, then yes, get shit done. Screw you. Come on, me, we're leaving. Ugh, finally. Wait, better with you. Yeah? I said better. Oh, wow, have you? Uh, me? Here, try this. Give me hands to you a, a bag of weird grounded moss. Um, well... It's tea I made with a spell, a small spell to reduce anxiety. For me? Yeah, I thought you'd find it useful. Oh my god, what do I say? Thank you? Just thank you, Lord, that I'm happy. Um, cool? Oh yeah, it's pretty cool. Try it hot, though. This one's free, but if you like it, come buy another batch. Wait, are you selling me drugs? No, this is a legal store. It's just enhanced reishi mushrooms. Oh, okay. I'll give them a try. Yep, let me know how that goes. Yeah, yeah, okay, uh, bye. 
and again. Theo exits the shop, stumbling over his feet like he stumbled over his words. Oh my god, she was being so nice and I couldn't even utter out a thank you? But she hates me now. Though she did say come again. What does she want? She gave me some tea to try. Huh? Okay. Well, good job. What? Good job, you know. Wasn't this like a big thing to you? Go visit someone? That's right. It was. Well, let's go home. You could try that tea. Yeah, let's try some. Nah, you try it. I'm good. Huh? That's Vivian. <laughs> just because she wasn't helpful to you. You're just upset she told you off. Yeah, I am. What about it? Theo returns to his nest, and half of him drinks some mushroom tea. There's nothing particularly funny about any of this, but the Theuses are laughing like maniacs. If this was a group of friends, Theo would be the one to constantly cracking jokes to make the others laugh. Everyone would just laugh to be polite, so no one would think he's funny. And then he would go at it all day long, blissfully ignorant of how annoying he's being. And Theo would not be invited to hang out again. But since there are only Theos is here now, he's having the time of his life. <laughs> so me. Anyway, my horrible self, how was the tea? Great, I think it's working actually. Like, I was panicking over something stupid earlier, then I drank the tea and was like, huh, maybe it doesn't matter if the neighbors think my door's ugly. <laughs> what do you mean? That's the only thing that matters in life. Especially since we have no control over it. Do you think I should go thank her? I suppose. I mean, she went out of her way to make me this blend. I suppose. So, I mean, I have to go buy more anyway. I suppose. You suppose and suppose. Can't you see I'm trying to make you tell me to go? I su- Ugh, oh, fine, fine, I'll go. I don't even need your approval anyway. I suppose that my own approval is your approval anyway. Goodbye. Okay, but what the hell am I supposed to approve here? That, I don't even know. Aren't you like the main view? I am? Yeah, so I just can't go around doing whatever I want with your life. Hold up, hold up. I'm the main view. No matter how you slice it, you have more of the qualities I consider to be the B for you. Really? Like what? Uh, misery? God, Theo is more than my misery. It was the person who existed before the misery came along. I'm just a disease or something. No. Explain. No. Well, aren't you helpful today? I didn't know ex how exactly, but your logic is crap. So actually, the whole main Theo concept is a little crap. I can't believe you had such a crappy thought. Yeah, I'm pretty crappy. Well, that's why you wanted to get rid of me, wasn't it? Oh my god. Okay, let's not go there. How about you go get some more magic tea? Fine. Actually, I take that back. Let's just go there. Huh? I think we're doing pretty okay lately, aren't we? I... compared to what? Before we split? I'd say it's about the same, really. Yeah, I'll think about that. Your depression is back to being just about the same. Even though all the happiness was given to me and you hit rock bottom. So wouldn't that mean if we merge back now, we'd be way better off? But it's not like you want to merge back. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Ugh, what a cop out of an answer. I'm going to buy some tea. Good luck, you can do it. You're so brave. Ugh, condescending, so condescending. Godspeed, made for you. I'm not. I'm not the main Theo, right? I thought he was slow. He is. Right? Because when he first woke up, he was like, he was looking at his body like, oh, what happened and whatnot. Mm. Mm. Well, I guess they're both halves, but he didn't have any memories of Vivian. So I'll say he is the main one. No, he's definitely the main one. Oh, dang it. I used to be the happy ones before life happened. I remember I was much more like the other me. And all this crap I dragged around in this half of the soul is just junk. I'm just some personification of the use sickness. But I guess it doesn't really matter anyway. I want to merge back. And everything will make sense again. Welcome! Hi! Didn't expect you back so soon. Hi, uh, yeah, I have no life, so... Okay. <laughs> Crap, maybe announcing maybe announce my loser status isn't a great conversation starter. Um, I tried to tea. It was 
yes, thanks. I'm sorry, what? It was, yes, it was good. Thanks for asking. I didn't ask, but okay. Glad to hear it. Mmm, yep. So I guess you're here to buy some more? I wasn't, but I guess I am now. Yeah, that's right. Here you go. Thanks. By the way, can I ask you something? Yes? Why is the other you agreeing to drink poison? Oh, that is how we play pay jerk face for splitting us up. Okay, but why? What do you mean why? You told me the other week that there was no written contract. So why pay him anything? Wait, I can do that, just not pay? Well, yeah, I can't prove you owe him or anything. Looks like you can't prove he screwed you over. So why are you paying him for screwing you over? Only if you feels really, really dumb. Why am I paying him? Screw that guy, I don't owe him a squat. Exactly, he's nothing but trouble. If anything, he's the one who shouldn't do this stupid spell. Shh. How do I sue this guy? I should report him somewhere. Uh, well, maybe don't go that far. Huh? Uh, it's... I mean, that costs a lot of money. No, doesn't it? Suing? Ugh, you're right. I don't even know how to get the whole process started. Oh, thank god. <laughs> Well, well, don't, don't you worry, I can help you undo the spell. I thought you know nothing about band magic. Don't worry about that. Just stay away from Lua. I can figure out one half-ass spell like this. Double ass. What? My ass got split in half, so now I have two asses. <laughs> it was a double assing spell. Okay. Ah, screw you. Other me thinks it's funny. It just doesn't make any sense, that's all. Well, I'm... I'll tell other me what we talked about. Good. I'll start looking into lifting the spell. Thank you, and I guess bye bye. Bye bye. He leaves the store happy. Sure, he made an ass of himself yet again, but at this point, he's done it so many times, it doesn't really matter anymore. Is it always this clean in here? Oh, yeah, he cleaned up the apartment. Oh, wait, no. It was usually the other one that did it, huh? Oh, yeah, I took up the trash out. Oh, thanks. Looks all nice now, our room. Oh, well, yeah, I hope it stays that way. Kinda sounds like you're blaming me. Kinda, I am blaming you. Blame away, I'm also blaming you for something. And that is, you're wasting our life force by drinking poison for no reason. Vivian said so. Told me that since there's no written contract, we will not the man we pay him anything. So, you don't need to eat poison anymore. Frankly, you're an idiot. Why'd you do it in the first place? Hey, someone had to pay. Apparently not. Maybe it said she'll do the spell for us. She just needs some time to figure it out. Yeah, well, I wonder what's that gonna, what that's gonna cost. She's nice, I'm sure it's something reasonable. Yeah, she's so nice to us for no reason. I think we're getting scammed. You find your character, you are. You already got scammed by Jerkface twice. That's right, I'm learning from my past experiences here. Ah, okay, fine. But can we stop drinking the poison anyway? I'd like to merge back to a body with the organs still functioning. So I guess it's just agreed now that we're going to merge back. Is it? I don't know. Is it? Yeah, I mean, I'm fine now, right? I thought you said so. I didn't exactly say fine, but I guess so. So now what? We just wait? That's right. We sit with our ass and thumbs up our asses and wait. Or we could just ask Lua to merge us back. I'm learning from past experiences. You can shut the hell up. Despite always being smart enough not to, Thea goes back to visit Lua. You just keep dropping by uninvited. That won't be long this time. I, didn't I tell you we can't make the next batch of poison yet? About that, me and I decide we want to merge back. Oh, you did, huh? So what? Well, I figured that if I'm getting the spell undone, I shouldn't have to pay for it. Sorry, no refunds. That's fine, I guess. Can you just merge us back anyway? Well, as it just so happens, this setup works better for me. No one's going to come knocking when you kick the bucket, you see. So no, I don't think I'll be merging you back. Oh. Well, it was worth asking, I guess. Okay then, it's been fun, but let's not hang out anymore. Alright, see you next week. Oh no, I'm saying we won't. Excuse me? I think helping you out once was payment enough. So I wish you all the best and goodbye. Hold on a minute, my friend. You think that's up to you? You read the help means up to me to specify when that's helping is done. 
Mm, nope, I think it's finished now. And if you don't like it, I guess you can take me to court. Huh, so I guess that's that. Someone's been like talking today. Just what made you change your mind like this, I wonder. I don't feel like dying anymore, I guess. No, of course, that's the other you. Nope, he doesn't want to die either. You sure change your mind a lot, I see. And if you change your mind about merging me back, let me know. I wouldn't hold my breath if I were you. Okay, that's fine. You're not the only mage in town anyway. See you around. Him and his big mouth. Someone's in a great mood, I see. You ever just get an urge to rip someone's head off? Uh, because I do. I'm having it right now. Okay, I'm gonna go and take my head somewhere else now. Can you believe it? That idiot, what's his name? Who? Do you? Yes, I know for a fact that he has shit for brains. Why do we suddenly decide he doesn't want to help me finish with a po potion? There, there, don't be sad. And the boo who sue me? F you. Some dumbass is a- some dumbass is, 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 is a dumbass, so what? I just don't appreciate being talked to like that. Who does this guy think he is? And who does he think he's talking to? Not to curse his ass. Yeah, go for it. Speaking of pretty curses, I bet Vivian. You bet Vivian what? You bet she's gonna get a piece of my mind? There's no way this isn't her fault somehow. Okay, whatever, just leave me out of it. And what was Vivian up to? She was busy reverse engineering Lewis' splitting spell. It wasn't going very well. And what happened then? I don't know, I was unconscious. You didn't see him prepare anything beforehand or something? No, it was all very sudden. One moment I'm in midair, and the next everything hurts. And then it's already morning and I'm two people. What about the other you? Does he remember anything? Nope. Hmm, this gives me very little to start off with. But you can still do it, right? Probably. It's just gonna take a little longer. How much longer? I'm guessing just a couple of years? Years! I, I thought this was gonna be overall within a few days or so. What on earth made you think that? Your replacement doesn't look so easy. Of course it's going to be easy if you already know the spell. Ugh. It takes a whole, whole lot longer to start from scratch. And even then, it might not be a spell I can pull off. And it's not even, it's not even certain? No, but I'm pretty confident. I don't know if I'm going to live that long. I'm sure you've got over 30 years or so still. But I'm burning two lives at once. So I'll only have our combined leftovers once we merge. Yeah, sex to screw up, doesn't it? Wow, thanks, that's really... Uh, what are you doing here? Piss off, you extra. Can I help you? I can only take so much of your shit, Vivian. I don't recall giving you any shit, seeing as I don't give a shit. Oh, well, that's some bullshit. Why are you so helping on ruining my research? I told you I'll let you in on it if you want, so... I don't want in on it. Then why are you getting in my way? More obligation? Oh please. I don't owe you any, any explanations. And I don't owe you any more of my time. Come along to you, you still owe me quite a bit. Huh? Don't tell me you forgot. You haven't paid me for splitting your soul. I think I already told you. I don't need to pay you anything. Right, Vivian? Right. Right, right. I think you paid me already. Well, obviously I'll be taking payments from the both of you. But, um, Vivian said, It's awfully hypocritical of Vivian to expect me to dish out spells for free, isn't it? Don't relax, I'm not asking for anything as a so horrendous as aiding me to cure aging. aging. Now, that would make our friend Vivian, dear friend Vivian, upset. Uh, so what is it then? Well, that's what we're going to have to discuss. So come along. Um, Viv, go ahead, you made a deal. You sir switch your tone fast. Just wash your dishes or something, and that's that. Well, no wonder your shop is going under if your spells are that cheap. I'm taking into consideration how much the other half paid you already. Don't be so petty. You tell me all about petty, Viv. Um, what should I... Oof, that's why. Leo drags Leo back home with him. Does he not have any backbone? Like, come on, man. So, uh, what now? Coffee, would you like some? Not really. Weird, I remember you like really liking it. Don't be so nervous. Let's figure out a payment, shall we? Go ahead, my friend, suggest something. Wash the shoes, cash the credit. I really don't want to give this man anything because he doesn't deserve it. He doesn't deserve it. I mean, I could just wash the dishes for him. 
dishes. I don't think I have enough dishes to cover the cost. I can wash it several times, I guess. You're not nearly as funny as you think you are. The only joke here is this contract we're supposedly making. You wouldn't make an enemy out of me if I were you. Vivian is going to take quite a while to learn my spell, but perhaps a little longer still to reverse it. But are you going to live the spell? I don't know. I guess we're here to plan this all out. Nah, and I want the other me here too, so you can plan with us. Let's not pretend like you are two different people. Then why do I need to pay twice? Can't we just sort this out already? Ugh, no, I need time. Yeah, no kidding. You're going to age, going to age twice as fast. Is that how it works? I figure I just dropped dead in my 40s. Not that I run out of soul fuel or whatever. Of course not, you're burning your, through your soul from both ends. So you age up and wither away at double speed. Nice, another detail I wish I had known. Another detail you wouldn't have known had you asked. God damn it. You know what would help with your rapid aging? Huh, what? Pushing your other son was helping me test. What a shame that project is dead in the water now. Oh, I honestly don't think it would have taken me that long to figure out the rest. I like Vivian and I'm quite good at what I do. So imagine if the other you helped me test it out. Hell, the other batch might even be the wither winner. Oh, excuse me, must be another customer. While Lula is goes to ruin someone else's life, he reflects upon his situation. I... it doesn't add up somehow. Why would I age twice as fast? That doesn't make any sense. Kinda feels like he just wants us to keep testing his potion. But what if this is true and I'm aging at double speed? He feels like he's heading to a trap or dead end of some sort, no matter what. He wishes he had bought another phone so he could call himself to ask for his equally useless thoughts. Oh, I didn't know you were visiting. You were, uh... Tao, and you're the unlucky to you. Yeah, I sure feel unlucky right now. Oh, uh, what's up? Uh, I don't know. Your brother's an ass. Yep, he sure is. What's the matter? Maybe I can help you out. Probably not, unless you can merge me and my other self back together. Nah, sorry. My magic sucks so bad I give up on even trying. Thanks anyway. It's my own fault. I don't think things through. And now I'm Vivian saying to suck it up and just pay up somehow. Okay, do you listen to Vivian? Do you not have thoughts of your own? You're friends with Vivian? I guess, or kinda. Oh, she said anything about me? No, sorry. Oh. I mean, we're mostly trying to undo this split spell. Really? Vivian is? Is that like a bad thing? God, am I getting screwed over by her too? No, no, I was just surprised she was wanting to touch band magic again. <laughs> again? Wait here. Huh? Wait, what? Poor Theo can even comprehend what's going on. Now returns with the backpack. It's too small for whatever is inside, and it seems they're just about to give. Okay, let's go. Go where? I'm waiting for Lua. Yeah, you're gonna wait a while. Come on. Now leads Theo out right past Lua and some crying women. Lua knows his, but he's too busy telling that woman his awful services. Theo wants to tell her to run for the hills and never come back, but figures it's none of his business. Plus, it's not like he listened either when told to stay away. He'll find himself back at Vivian's shop. Well, that was fast. What happened with- Hello, Vivian. Why are you here? I heard you're dabbling with my brother's spell. Vivian gives Theo a quick glance. In just half a second, she manages to convey both disappointment, betrayal, and hatred. I- We were just chatting. I had no idea I wasn't allowed to talk about you. Whatever. Don't be angry, look what I have. Dal pulls Leah's spell book out of his, her bag. You can borrow this if you'd like. Why would you lend me this? Yeah, it's not even hers to lend. What do you mean why? I thought you wanted to know about the splitting spell. I'll make you some hot chocolate if you like. <sighs> yes, put marshmallows on it too. Okay, but they're pretty old. Sugar never expires. Theo stands around awkwardly. He feels like a complete outsider. Because he is. Soon there's hot chocolate and chit chat with the, about magic. There's nothing whatsoever that Theo can add to the conversation. This is just like the group assignments back in school. I don't understand anything. Nobody wants to talk to me. Uh, so hey, should I go get the other me? Huh? What? If like we're going to try to spell, 
He'd probably be around for that. You want me to try to spell right now? I mean, we have the spell book. I'm just copying Lua's notes. I still need to study it myself. Oh, okay. And why am I even here? Should I just leave? I think we should try it out now. Does it look that hard? Well, I'm not sure about this part about suing the soul. It doesn't explain how. I done a needle and thread? It feels a bit weird. Huh, you're still here? Uh, yeah. Aren't you go get the aren't you going to get the other you? What, so we're doing it now? Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Theo removes himself from the shop. The other two don't even notice and keep on chatting happily. As Theo suspects, uh, suspected his input wasn't needed at all. Whatever, I don't mind at all. I'm not interested in some dumb girl talk anyway. Hey me, you home? Welcome home. That's right, um, I'm welcome here. Yeah, <laughs> so weird. So awkward and weird. Listen, Vivian's going to undo this spell. Oh, she already figured it out? Don't worry about that, let's just go. As Theo puts on the shoe, the other feels a bit melancholic. Well, more melancholic than usual. What's up? Huh? You have that stupid look on your face again. Up yours. I can't help your face look stupid no matter what. Something on your mind? It's just... The house is gonna get quiet again, that's all. Quiet? Did you not hear the party downstairs last night? The house as in our apartment, my room. Oh, uh, you mean after we march back? Yeah. I'm just happy you won't be hogging all the blanket anymore. God damn it, I'm trying to express, some <laughs> express something here, but all you care about is yourself. Ah, uh, you think too much. Come on, let's get going. Okay. Even before entering the store, Theo can hear Tal and Vivian laughing. It's like they're best friends now. Theo doesn't understand. Oh, hey, the whole time Theo is here now. Hello, hello, I, I heard I was going to get merged. Right, this spell seems simple enough. Or at least simpler than the double time one. Oh, whoa, you remember that one time with the drunkard? Oh my god, don't even remind me. Apparently something hilarious has happened. But Theo would not know. Maybe you could fill me in on that one after I merge back. Oh, right, sorry. Which body do you want to keep? Which body do I what now? You have two bodies now. Once I merge your soul, which body do you want to house it in? Oh, let me think about it. What do you think? I think we should go with yours. I mean, I've been stabbed and poisoned, so this is probably in better shape. Hello? Huh? Uh, yeah, sure. What's wrong? Uh, actually, don't bother telling me. I know all about it in a minute. I wonder what it's gonna be like, having two accounts of the same event. Like when I tried to kill you. That's gonna be interesting. Hey, me? Yeah? Maybe we could stay like this? Say that again? I just, I mean, it's not like that bad or like this. How is having our life for a split not bad? It's not like we're doing anything particularly important with our life right anyway. A short life is fine too. But wouldn't you rather have a longer one? Not if it's lonely. Wait, what the hell is this conversation right now? Why are we having this? Let's not merge. Let's not merge. I want to be friends. <sighs> For Christ's sake. Okay, so we have the options to merge or not merge. Let me see. You know, they could be just be buddies. You know, let's, let's not merge. Ugh. Feels like a bunch of effort was wasted just now. Huh? Like we've been running around this whole time trying to merge. Now you throw this curveball. Yeah, I changed my mind. What about it? So now what? You want to just loiter around for the rest of our short lives? What? Since we're not merging. We're not? Apparently not. Really? Yeah, I can't believe it either. Yes. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, okay, whatever. Well, I'm glad you're happy. You should be happy too. You're the happy one after all. Well, honestly, I think I'm kind of lukewarm now. Like, not particularly happy or sad. Huh, I... I think I'm like that too. Maybe it's like that, like that science thing. I'm gonna need more details to understand what you're on about. 
homeostasis, our souls, our soul is balancing out, becoming more stable. You're so full of shit. It, I'm being so smart right now. <laughs> no, dumbass. Habit does not even the right word you're using. Like you know, you're as dumb as me. If anything, we're twice as dumb now. Let's tell Vivian just how dumb we are. Hey, Vivian. Vivian's house stopped telling inside jokes. Okay, which body is it? Both. I just told you. It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine like this. That is to say, thank you for all your efforts, but we're gonna stay like this. Are you sure? You're going to die at your 40s. That's fine, I'm too dumb to think that far. And you're both fine with that? Yeah, it's all fine. Maybe it looks at Tao, Tao just shrugs. Well, okay, but just make sure you understand I'm not going to keep this offer open. I'm not merging you back later if you choose to do it now. That's fine, I... He even reads and moves notes that it's gonna get harder and harder to merge back as your souls adapts to being split. It's fine. Yeah, what I said. Or he said. What we said. Now you're just being confusing on purpose. Well, if you're sure. I should return to this book before he realizes it's gone. Right. Thanks for bringing it anyway. No problem. I'll bring my bounty ball collection next time. I see you intend to come again. That's right, so buy some fresh marshmallows. Those old ones are kind of gross. Who would have thought? It's not like I told you or so or anything. Quiet, you. I was being polite, okay? I'm nice like that. You forget this conversation has nothing to do with either of them. So he leaves with a short bye-bye that goes barely unnoticed. Here we are again. It's not quiet at all. Yeah, so what do you want to do about jerk face? He was hassling me for a payment, but I already paid. He said I need to pay too. Yeah, that's not happening. You can consider us not suing his ass payment, and we have the money to sue anyway. We should get a job or something. What, to sue him? No, no, to have a life for ourselves. Since there's two of us, and I'd like to move somewhere we have a little more space. I mean, we need another bed. Maybe an actual kitchen table, rather than whatever that IKEA thing sticking out the wall is. And a parakeet? You want a parakeet? Yeah. You can get a parakeet once you've proven you can take care of yourself first. What the hell? Who put you in charge? Me. I'm the maid for you, after all. Says to you, I never agreed to that. Too bad. You wanted me around, so here I am. Oh god, I made a mistake. <laughs> That's the thing, though. Whether it was a mistake or not, this was Theo's new life. Stick with himself, and possibly a parakeet. Together, they had an okay-ish, albeit a, a bit short life. Half-assing everything the whole way through. Half to end. <laughs> I mean, it's still a happy ending. So back to this option, we shall merge. I'll be your friend, okay? But we'll do that as one single person. How the hell would that work? Easy. All you want to do is play video games anyway. We could do that as a single person, no problem. It's not the same, I can't talk to you. And there's no feedback, like, no one's there to react with me. So it's lonely. Well, once we're one, I can make us some friends. Ugh. Think about it this way. Right now, we're very from similar, so of course we'll get along and whatnot. I don't think we've gotten along particularly well. Whatever, give it a few years and we'll be different people for sure. You might even become so different I want nothing to do with you. And then we'll never hang out again. But if we merge now, you'll never be alone so no matter how much I hate you. Wow, you're convincing, huh? Yeah, I guess. Alright, let's get this over with. Okay, we decided we'll keep other me's body. Wait, we decided that? Yeah, we should listen. Okay, we can start whenever you're ready. We're ready. We are? Yes. Alright, I'll do my best. Theo gets a bad feeling the second his body is back to floating midair. Even though he gets a soul a second kiss from Vivian, he's just not happy about it. Something isn't right. Hey, anybody there? Ah, he moves. Good evening. We weren't out nearly as long as last time. This... 
You gave me the wrong body. I'm sorry, I tried putting your soul in the other one, but you wouldn't wake up. Or have a heartbeat. I was scared you weren't going to wake up at all. It's okay. It's not okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Yes, I did. Oh, Vivian, I think you've messed it up. Ugh, why is it so noisy? Ugh, why is there an echo? <laughs> she put them in the booth, but now he has two personalities. Well, I guess this is a happy ending too. I mean, he can talk to himself now, but he kind of looks crazy. Shut up, shut up. Oh, shit. What? What happened? I don't think the souls merged even though I stitched them together. That's fine to me, though. How many theuses are in there? One. One. Or two. I knew we shouldn't have trusted Vivian to do this. Well, I knew we shouldn't have merged at all. That's funny, I could have sworn you were the one who wanted to merge the second we split. No, it's different now. Okay, what should we do? Crap, crap, crap. Uh, what do you want to do about the corpse? Crap, crap, oh, is it corpse? I'm gonna put it in the freezer for now. They also start dragging one of the Theus's body towards the kitchen. Well, you can call it the kitchen, it's more like a break room that happens to have a sink and a fridge freezer combo. However, the freezer is barred too small to fit a whole body. Should I, like, hack this up or... No, hands off, I want that one. Move my soul to that one. Dude, this thing's been dead for like an hour. It didn't work before and it definitely wouldn't work now. Hey Vivian, you got a butcher knife in there or something? <laughs> whoa, 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 you're really doing this in front of me? I think maybe you should just bury it like a props or popper corpse. You know, respectfully. That's wasteful. We just turn this into ingredients. Ingredients for what? Well, for example... It's at that moment that Lua barges in the shop. He doesn't look happy, it's put in my blood. Looks like spoiled book, you petty thief. Crap, 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 crap. Tal, are you here? Hello, I'm here. I know you took it. Where is it? The book? Right here, don't worry. Val hands over the book. No way to get so angry, I was only borrowing it. Why'd you bring it here of all places? Well, there was more with Vivian. Crap, 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 crap. Did she need to use the bathroom or something? Nah, we tried to do your spell. But it didn't work. Or I mean it did, but not as ugly wanted. What happened? Go take a look in the back. Lou goes to look in the back as instructed. And there he sees Theo observing his dead body with half half a leg cut off. There's blood everywhere. Oh thank fuck. <laughs> look at what they did to me. Go away, this is all your fault. You had to split me in the first place. <laughs> Are you just laughing? It's not like you would have done it any better, honestly. What a disaster. My god, are you both in there separately? Yes, we're both in here. Can you fix me? Haha, <laughs> why would I? How you haven't even probably paid me from the last spell. Sorry, friend, you're on your own. Can't just not, like, do, uh, I mean, um, once more. You can't just leave me like this. You have to admit this is at least partly your fault. Yeah, what he said. Not in the least. Everything would have been swell had you done everything I advised from the beginning. That is, following through and killing your negative feelings. But no, here you are, saddled with yourself. Poor thing. But it's not my problem. I bid you farewell. No, wait. Lua leaves Theo with the bloody mess. Ah, oh, relax, Vivian. It's not that bad. Vivian, I could take the corpse off your hands before it starts rotting. Crap, crap, crap. Tal, go chop the thing up. We're taking it. Already on it. She goes back to cutting the body up much to Theo's horror. A bunch of different variations of what is wrong with you can be heard. Oh my gosh, Vivian, you really screwed this one up. Oh, Aw, don't cry. I screwed up. Yep, I believe I just said that. I'm such a screw up. I knew I wasn't ready to lift the spell yet, I knew. Well, you did it anyway, so... If Vivian wasn't crying already, sure is now. Um, okay, look, it's not that bad, okay? I mean, you messed up the mending a bit, that's all. Besides, this guy's all screwed up anyway, he's going to notice. <coughs> Me! Because unlike you, I have a conscience. Well, okay then, have fun with that. I'm going to get my body bag ready, I'll see you in a bit. Wait. Waiting. Can you- would you fix it? I don't know, Vivian, you haven't been exactly nice to me lately. 
So, I don't know if I have an in me to bail you out this time, love. This time? What's that supposed to mean? I made loose Lacey disappear, didn't I? Or did you not notice? Nobody came asking anything. Almost like, oh, almost like I made everyone forget about her. Didn't forget her. Now that I can fix that, if you like. Ugh, no. And I think you did that for your own sake. My sake, your sake. Do you really want us to argue about this again? No. I just... That's going too far. What the head? Yes, why would you do that? I can't believe I thought you were nice before. You're a bloody nightmare. I told you to stop looking. I'm not cutting it up for fun. Chicks have a lot of meat. And the eyes can be used to cure someone else's sight. So it's all for a good cause. It's just, you should have asked me. And I would have said no. Don't be selfish. Stop arguing, you're making a scene. What if the neighbors or someone comes to check? Tell that to Theo. Just hurry up and finish. I can't believe you people. Quit your yapping. Say your useless corpse has payment for my services. Who am I paying for now? A fix, I suppose. And with that, Theo is in midair once more. So far, every time this has happened, things have gone from bad to worse. So you see, he isn't very confident he wants to let this happen again. Before he can scream for help, his soul is pulled out of his body once more. He will undo his amazing mistakes and fixes Theo's soul right up. Theo's poor soul has been through so many hacks and flashes at this point, he can barely withstand it. So this would be the last time anyone would ever tamper with it. Which luckily for Theo, it is. Tal and Lua finish things up while Vivian cleans up after them. Tria works so efficiently, you have to wonder if they've done this before. Yes, the answer is yes, they have. But that's neither here nor there. You can send him home as soon as he wakes up, and somehow make him shut up all about it, okay? That's a lot to ask, he seems a bit loose-lipped. Ah, oh, you have to get something out. Good night, Vivian. You should come over sometime. I might. Alright, I'll bake you some gingerbread cookies. That sounds good. Good night. Lua? What is it? I'm kind of carrying something like, uh, like sensitive and I'd like to get home quickly. Thank you. For a lot of things. Ah, uh, though I'm still mad too. Yes, well, aren't you always mad about something or the other? Val is going to be really mad too if you don't show up after she makes those cookies. And I guess I have to. If you do, I can show you how far I got with our potion. And guess what? No one even died this time. You say that while carrying a corp? Well, let's not talk so loud in public. I look forward to seeing it. Until then, good night. Hurry up, Lua, you worth a sack of shit. Wow, someone's getting her ass kicked tonight. Lua and Tao go home. Several hours later, later Theo was recovering his recovering consciousness. Am I dead yet? No, not yet. Did you want to be? Not really, just felt like I might be. We're not. We're still using me? I don't know, are we? Just me now. I want to keep saying we though. Okay, but not in front of everyone. Yeah, they'll send us to, back to therapy. I don't know, maybe we need it. He seems to be in a good mood. Or insane. At this point, I don't even know myself. Here's Lua and his psychopath of a sister. They went home. You can go home too if you feel okay. I guess. Before you go though, I'd like to ask you something. Yeah, go for it. You have a job. Uh... It's just that if you like, I can hire you. I don't... I'm not exactly reliable. That's fine, you can pop in whenever. And I'll pay you for whatever hours you work. Why though? Because I need you to sign a non-disclosure agreement. Yeah, okay, that makes sense, I guess. I'd also let me keep track of you, in case I did any damage. Okay then, I'll work for you. Though I'm expecting the mushroom tea to be complimentary. Sure, have as much as you like. And honestly, uh, I honestly think I'll be absent quite a bit. Like I said, that's fine. Sounds good then. Glad to hear. And that's how that went. After being put back together again, Theo's life calmed down a bit. He started working at the shop, which despite Lou's opinions, is doing quite okay. It was a great opportunity for Theo to hone his abysmal social skills, to earn some money and working experience and all that. Though honestly, he just feels happy to be part of the outside world again. 
after rotting away in his horrible home for a decade. Overall, Theo is hopeful for the future. Maybe things will be okay? And on days he feels lonely and devastated, Theo starts talking to himself. The neighbors think he's a creepy weirdo, <laughs> but at least Theo understands Theo. Merge end. Well, you know, it is a good ending too, because in the end he kind of like accepts himself in a way, and he still like talks to himself. Like he still has himself in him. Like he'll know that deep down in the end. I wonder if that's her mom or something. It seems like he doesn't have like all his like anxiety. His personality stems from his abusive father. Don't know about the mother. The mother seems like okay, I guess, but. Okay, so now for the last ending. So I need to claim that the contract is invalid. It, our contract doesn't even exist. We don't owe you any favors or money or poison drinking or anything. That's a bit rude. I gave you my time and effort. You say I deserve no compensation at all. Well, I'm not saying that, but I don't think you deserve to poison the other me. My, who made you the divine judge of who deserves that? Maybe you should pull your head out of your ass. Screw you, man. You laugh? How dare you? Sorry, sorry. If that was all you had to say, mind pissing off. Us happy ones have business to attend to. But I... There's no contract. That's nice. Go tell someone who cares. Meanwhile, Theo here needs to help me with something. But don't you worry, home buddy. He won't be long. Don't worry me. I was a bit sick last time, but it was okay. I'll drink it one last time and then we'll move out. <sighs> Thanks for sticking up for us though, you're so brave. And now you're making fun of me. Jeez, I was not. I'll see you in a bit. See you. <laughs> Maybe doesn't come back. That's just how it happened. That batch of poison was quite bad. Lua had gotten overconfident seeing how well Theo survived the previous one. So this one was way too deadly. Theo's his life ended just like that. Yep, just like that. What did the remaining Theo think about that? Well, he wasn't very happy at all. His depression got the better of him. Oh. I don't even want to tell you this stuff. It all seems so melodramatic. And that's what happened. It's all very sad. Sad, sad. What did you think was going to happen when he made that statement about the contract? They expect Lua to go, Oh, gee, you're right. Sorry, mate. I'll just go now. Well, since there was no more theaters left to play, it's game over. I got the bad end. So they both end up dying. Oh my god, that was so dumb. That was absolutely the worst ending. So yeah, I got all the endings for the better half. So it seemed like they use his, his personality, his anxiety, like the way he is, is from his like abusive like home life, his abusive father. Maybe the mother wasn't there in the picture, or maybe the mother was, but she didn't, I guess she didn't do anything about it, or she couldn't too, because she was also getting abused. But it seems like a lot of his, like, self-doubting, self-harm behavior stems from that. And he didn't grow out of that, it didn't help that he didn't have anyone else to talk to. I think that his mother's the one that sends him money, cause like, how can he have an apartment and like, buy food or whatnot, and he doesn't have a job. So I guess his mother sends him money, even though he doesn't really, he's not close to her either, so maybe she just watched the abuse happen, so that's what I think. But uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye!